What is going on everyone, DJ TV here. Welcome to today's video. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to you know, sincerely apologize for yesterday's video. Uh, I guess YouTube was broken. Um, unfortunately, by the end of yesterday's video, close to the end when I was in Target, unfortunately, the clip blacked out. Uh, there was no audio towards the end. And no clip. Uh, thank you, YouTube, for doing that to me for no reason. Because when I upload the uh, files to uh, what I use, iMovie or Viva Video Pro, I use Viva Video Pro. I love the app. And it was working fine for me. Upload it, then until I found out. <laughs> but I just want to apologize to everyone, and uh, you just didn't really miss much. I just basically looked at the NECA figures, really nothing, and just came back home, and that was basically it. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, now let's get into today's video. Alright guys, it is that time of year, it is Money in the Bank 2019, and this is the predictions, so let's just get right into it, we're going to start off with the women's, and now we're going to start off with the Raw Women's Championship on the line, as Becky Two Belt defends the Raw Women's title against Lacey Evans, and I'm going with Becky all the way on this one, like what did Lacey Evans do to deserve this championship? Nothing, so I think Becky will retain against from her and the smackdown live women's championship i think becky's gonna retain like come on who wants to see charlotte as a champion again not me 100 percent, not me uh becky should still hold on to the women's titles as long as she can because i love becky personally and i know a lot of people aren't really digging her as being both champions but hey becky is the man the women's ladder match. Oh my gosh. This is going to be intense. I'll take anyone except for Carmella, Natalia, or Dana. So basically, it's anyone's game except for them three. But in all seriousness, I am going to go for Ember Moon. Or I'm going to go with Mandy Rose. One of those two. Now, Nikki Cross is in this match because she is taking Alexa's place. Unfortunately, Alexa Bliss is not medically cleared for this match. Oh, well, tough loss. But, hey, if Nikki wins, holy crap, that would be insane. I'll dig it. I'll definitely dig it. Uh, but I think I want... Basically, my top is Ember Moon and Mandy Rose. But if Nikki wins, wow. I will be blown. Even if Bailey wins it, you know? But I don't really want Bailey getting it because she already became, you know, woman's champion. So I'll give it to somebody fresh or new, you know? Now I'm here at this match. It's on the pre show. What a shame. The Usos going up against the new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, Dan and Bryan and Eric Rowan. Now, I'm hearing this is on the pre-show, and that's a damn shame. But, it's WWE. What can you do? And I think that Danny Bryan and Eric Rowan are going to retain the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. I don't think the Usos are going to come out with the win, even though this match, I think, will be a good match. Because any match the Usos are in, they're actually enjoyable and fun. But I think Danny Bryan and Eric Rowan is going to come out with the win. Alright, a match that I am actually interested in, and it is inside a steel cage. We haven't seen a steel cage match in a long time. We got Shane O'Mac versus The Miz inside the steel cage. Oh man, this one is actually a tough call, but I'm going to go with The Miz on this one, since he took a big L at WrestleMania, which no one saw coming, ever since he did that big suplex to Shane, and Shane came up with the win. I think they might give it to The Miz. And, yeah. I just hope they do crazy stunts in the cage. You know, Shane jumping off or something, you know. But we'll see what happens. Maybe The Miz will probably lose and Shane walks out to steal the cage. As long as there's no freaking pins. No pinfalls or submission inside the cage. Somebody should escape. That's how 
I that's why I believe that the steel cage rules should have been. But you know what can you do? So let's go, Miz. All right, next we got the United States Championship on the line as the United States Champion Samoa Joe defends the title against Rey Mysterio. Now, how many times did this, these guys fight each other? I don't know. I really hope this is it. And I think that Rey Mysterio is going to get the United States Championship. I don't know. Since his WrestleMania match wasn't as we expected, I think Rey is going to get the title. Or I think, I don't know. I think I'm going crazy. Or his son Dominic will probably cost him the title. Or that could switch around. Dominic will cost Samoa Joe the title. And they'll probably still feud for a little bit. But I'm going with Rey Mysterio. Alright, another match that is on the card. We got Roman Reigns going up against the Drifter Elias. It's just a regular plain one-on-one -on -one match. I'm not looking forward to this match. And I think it's pretty obvious that Roman is going to win. Like, come on, really? You think that Elias is going to win? I don't know. I sure hope so. He is my pick. I want Elias to win. But come on, if you think about it, Roman had a match against Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania, and Drew lost. What a shame. You know? So, well, you think Elias will win it? Maybe, if somebody helps him. Uh, but I'm not sure. But I do want Elias, but I think Roman's gonna win. So, yeah. Not excited for this. Alright, we got the men's money in the bank ladder match. Now, I know I don't have... I don't have CN only figure here. No Ricochet. Or no Mustafa Ali, because they are coming out very soon. Fortunately, we do not have their figures. And there is a guy that I pick... That we do not have his figure of. But I'll just say his name now. And I'm actually going to go for basically three guys. Drew McIntyre. He's like my definite like number one pick. Because, you know, I think Drew needs it now. And he does deserve it. I want Drew. And my next pick is CN. CN... I love CN. Uh, I think he definitely deserves it. And it will be so interesting and huge for him. And my third is Ricochet. Hell yeah. Ricochet, come on now. He deserves it. Corbin, hell no. Balor, he's the Intercontinental Champion. So I don't see that happening. Sammy. Eh, like if he wins, I wouldn't be upset. It just would be like, damn. Orton, nah. Let him just be there to take bumps, you know? So, yeah. Those are my picks. All right. Next up, we got the WWE Championship on the line as Kofi defends his title against Kevin Owens. Uh, whew, not sure. Not sure. I think Kofi is going to retain for sure. I think they're going to let him hold it for... A little longer than expected, than we actually all expected. Uh, Kevin Owens. Whew. I don't know. Interesting. Like, I wouldn't be mad if he wins. But I know a lot of people would be upset if Kofi loses. But I would like to see Kofi retain. You know, I really would. And let him move on and fight somebody else, you know. Sorry, Kevin. But I think Kofi's going to retain. All right, we got the Universal Championship on the line. The man, the Seth Rollins, defending his Universal title against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, this is a match I know we're all looking forward to. Uh, I just hope it delivers, man. You know, it's WWE, and we all thought that Nakamura and AJ at WrestleMania was going to deliver. It wasn't like their NJPW match, but you know what? <laughs> Let's see how them two together will do. Uh, this, I'm looking forward to this match. You know, this will be the first time ever. And it's for the Universal title. I, oh man, as much I want to say AJ, but I think Seth Rollins is going to retain somehow, some way. And I don't know if somebody's going to cash in. You just never know. 
But I think Seth Rollins is going to retain. But I do want AJ. Because AJ is the best. I love AJ. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Interesting match. Should be good. But I think Seth Rollins is going to retain the Universal Championship. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. hope you guys enjoyed my predictions. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you guys rooting for? Who is your predictions to win Money in the Bank this year? Interested to know. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Once again